Welcome back to the ADHD Mind, where I share with you interesting facts, tips, and inspirations on ADHD. Struggling to find the best career for your ADHD brain? Here are some guides for you on finding the work you love. Keep on watching. Question number one, what do you enjoy doing the most? One of the best career advice for people with ADHD is to find work that you love, something that gives you a sense of happiness and fulfillment. Do not rely on willpower alone to get through. There is no one perfect career for people with ADHD. It depends on the individual strengths and interests, something that brings out your best qualities and taps into your passions. In a survey conducted by Attitude Magazine, a great resource on ADHD of nearly 1,450 adults with ADHD, about 50% reported being extremely or very satisfied with their job. Respondents of the survey work in various positions and industries, not just limited to one. Healthcare, 23%, education, 20%, government and public service, 9%, technology, 8%, sales or retail, 6%, and legal, 5%. Question number two, what are your strengths? Think about your strengths and weaknesses when choosing a career. What am I really good at? What am I not so good at, no matter how hard I try? If you found it unbearable in the past to be at jobs with repetitive tasks every day and you kept living after a short period of time, it might be a sign that those types of jobs are not meant for you. You might need a completely different kind of environment where you learn something new every day and something more challenging and fast-paced. Once you figure out what type of environment you thrive in, you will do so well at your job and life will be less miserable for you. Imagine you spend most of your waking hours at work. Choose something that you're good at and enjoy. These are the types of jobs that will bring out our best qualities. Variety. Our ADHD brains dread boredom. Just the thought of doing the same thing every day makes us not want to get up for work in the morning. A job where we get the chance to do a variety of tasks will keep our ADHD brain stimulated enough to stay focused and maintain our interest throughout the day. Here are some examples. Some people love working in retail because they are not stuck at their desk. Instead, the jobs keep them on their toes all day interacting with customers. Real estate agent is another example where you get to do a variety of tasks each day. Or you can be a business owner and get to manage different aspects of the company. Or a reporter. The options are endless. Creativity and problem solving. We with ADHD are known for our ability to think outside the box. We may be able to come up with ideas that nobody else has ever thought of. We may see solutions to problems at work that nobody else sees. If we could take advantage of this special gift at work, we may become unstoppable. The right kind of environment will help us shine with this unique ability. Here are some examples of the types of jobs that embrace this skill set. Technology, product design, computer engineering, entrepreneur, photographer, or artist, to name a few. A sense of purpose. Some people with ADHD may do very well in jobs where they feel a sense of purpose and what they do makes a difference in other people's lives. Perfect examples for this would be in the fields of teaching or healthcare. You feel that you're working towards a goal other than yourself and you are doing meaningful work, which will give you a great source of motivation to get up in the morning. Some job industries include education, healthcare, or social services. Continuing learning. We with ADHD love the excitement of learning new things because our brains tend to seek stimulation that triggers dopamine production. Once we hyperfocus on something of great interest, we will go all in and learn everything we could on the subject. Continuing learning keeps our brains engaged, focused, and avoid the feeling of boredom. Those types of jobs provide the stimulations that our brains need. Industries may include technology and research. Movement and independence. Some people with ADHD prefer the types of jobs that offer them freedom and ability to move around instead of being stuck in a cubicle. That's the best way for them to stay focused and release their hyperactivity. Job examples include dancer, chef, firefighters, and electrician. Question number three. What do others say about your greatest strengths? 
Some skills might come so natural to you that you may not realize those are the things you're really good at until someone points it out to you. Look for feedbacks from your family, friends, and coworkers. Sometimes you will be surprised at their answers and thinking to yourself, why have I never thought of that before? And some great ideas might come to mind. Question number four. What are some of your accomplishments you're most proud of? You may want to make a list of all your accomplishments at work so far, some of the ones you're most proud of. This activity might give you a better idea about what your ideal career would be, or it might simply point you to the right direction. Question number five. What are your weaknesses, no matter how hard you've tried to improve them? Let's say, no, more, no matter how hard you try, you still can't pay attention to details and keep making little mistakes. Then some jobs out there are not meant for you, jobs that require high level of accuracy and details. On the other hand, you may be exceptionally good at dealing with people and building relationships. Those types of jobs will be where you shine. Avoid the ones that you know for sure you won't be able to improve no matter how much you try. And one last thing to consider, learn to accept and embrace our brain dif differences and understand that if you force yourself to fit into a box like everyone else, it will likely set you up for failure and disappointment. Open yourself up to new opportunities, try them all out and see where your strengths are at and what interests you the most. Thanks so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful to you and subscribe to my channel for more interesting facts, tips and inspirations on ADHD.